Hi. And today's project is my washing machine motor. Now, it's a weird one. I fell for their advertising crap. Ease of maintenance. Repair it yourself. <laughs> Anyways, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> this is the armature, the motor core. It's a commutator motor. And rather than try to pull the bearings off the uh, um, the motor shaft so that I could mount this between centers or or whatever um, anyways a while ago I made a a select chuck and I, I published a short video on it so it really only took a few minutes to uh, to bore this out to take the bearing rather than try to pull the bearing and then I would have had to try to there was no center in the motor shaft uh, so the slack chuck did the job now uh, what it really amounts to is uh, I had just, really just to take a few minutes to bore the to the the thing out to fit the bearing and turn the shank down to about half inch to fit my chuck and that worked out pretty good uh, this motor uh, the replacement's rather expensive and it would be a pain in the butt I gotta say uh, because they changed something about the motor the new series doesn't claim to fit the old motor so I've got to try to make this thing run. I baked the uh, baked the motor overnight in my oven at 170 degrees, and I happen to have a mega ohm meter to uh, to check the windings. And now the the excuse of shaking camera uh, baking the the motor improved the ohm meter readings to uh, to a point. Um, and I'm, I've got my fingers crossed. I'm going to put it back together uh, and, and see if it'll run. Now the uh, the motor this is the brush end of the motor and it's a, and it's a pain in the butt to work on. I got to tell you I, I didn't see a way to uh, to pull the motor apart and um, And, and work on the windings so after after baking the, the motor I, I ran some uh, uh, this happens to be a wood finish called tongue oil and it's part um, oh uh, boiled linseed oil and part uh, mineral spirits the mineral spirits evaporate off and uh, uh, the boiled shellac sets up so anyways I, I dribbled uh, a bunch of uh, of tongue oil on the uh, motor windings and I like I say I got my fingers crossed it's gonna sit out here on my my hot machine room at a hundred degrees during the day anyways um, and hopefully the motor will survive I really don't want to junk the machine out. It's been a good machine except for this Chinese motor. Um, so anyways, there you go. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs>